Close to two billion people, two billion people have played with a Rubik's Cube. And these people, the way it inspired them is so tangible. The Rubik's Cube, they remember the moment in their life when they solved it. The Rubik's Cube has inspired people in arts, in mathematics, in engineering. It's inspired people in pop culture. Erno has inspired millions and millions of people around the globe. And it's such an honor and a privilege to have him here. Anton and Spin Master, thank you for writing Canada into the heritage of the Rubik's Cube. We all are familiar with the Rubik's Cube, but now it's part of our country as well, and I think that's, uh, that's really tremendous. Um, I also share your enthusiasm for getting kids off of screens, and whether you know, kids' hands are, are on a paddle, or on a piano, or on a paintbrush, or on a Rubik's Cube, I think we can all agree that's time well spent. The Cube Bridge people all around the world and uh, interestingly uh, created the same reaction, uh, not depend on age, uh, culture, uh, religion, uh, gender, anything. So the, the cube is really a very universal uh, product and uh, very unique. We're gonna do some solves I guess. Uh, we'll race each other to make it a little more interesting. I can tell you who might win already, but... No, 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 no. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I find that difficult question and find an answer for that and able to solve it, that's an uh, achievement. <laughs> uh, and it's not because somebody else will uh, say, you know, good boy, but be because of you. The cube, for me, it's a piece of art. If you are curious, you find the problems around you, and if you are determined, you are able to solve.